What's up, everybody? Um, today's January 18th, 2022. It's Tuesday, uh, and this happens to be episode 246 of 4 and 3 Sports Talk. Um, if you're seeing this, sorry to get it to you late. Um, a couple things uh, I had to deal with. Um, wow, so <laughs> I guess the Rams showed us who the kings of the uh, NFC West are last night. Uh, 34-11, shut the fuck up. God. Um, so, <laughs> looks like the Rams are moving on. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about the news, Western Mass Sports, um, college basketball, only for the men's side. Oh, yeah, actually, actually, we're doing them both today. I forgot there was, uh, one game on the women's side. Um, NHL, you know, normal, the normal stuff that, uh, we bring to you here at 4 2 Sports Talk. Um, stretch. Ah, ah, oof, burn my arm on the... <laughs> Yeah. Um, Mr. McCauley, Sam Colvin, and Evan Stewart, and the Amherst fucking Hurricanes shut down undefeated Holyoke 60 to 45, and they improved to 6 and 2. So, all you coaches and everybody that's in the know as far as the high school basketball uh, scene is, is concerned, are the Amherst Hurricanes for real? They're pretty competitive, very sound on defense. Now, would you guys be mad if I had them ranked within the top 10? Ranked within the top 10? <laughs> they deserve it. If you guys don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, 60 to 45. What a good win over um, Holyoke, who then they just got creamed by Central. Ouch. Two, two losses in a row. Uh, the Frontier Red Hawks made eight three-pointers, and Eric Brown and company defeat the Southwick Rams. 70 to 31. That's a little 41 point victory. They improved to 6 and 3 on the season. Uh, number one of the, our great teams in Western Mass. Um, something about those Red Hawks, though, that kind of give you the feel of a pretender. Like, you know how the Carolina Panthers in the NFL this year, how they started off like 3 or 4 and 0. Oh. Everybody's like, holy shit, Sam Darnold is the man. They didn't make the playoffs. They had to hire their old guy back who fucking sucked. Lost 11 straight. And is the most overrated player in NFL history in Cam Newton. Sorry, not sorry. Um, Raiders fire GM Mike Mayock after three seasons. Well, well, well. I wasn't really sure of this hire to begin with anyway. Um, I understand Mike Mayock is an analyst. He's a draft guy. Um, so, you know, he evaluates players gaslights them, false opinions, and yet we're sitting here surprised that he's fired, surprised that he didn't make any moves because it was all opinionated. There weren't too many facts with Mike Mayock, and even when his on his evaluation of players, um, he wasn't too high on Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook's one of the best running backs when he's not injured. Um, Amari Cooper, he was a little, yeah, on, you know what I mean? Hence the move to Dallas. Well, Mike, you're fired. Go back to the NFL Network. You're not a GM. 49ers Jimmy G has slightly sprained shoulder. Shout out to Sheldon Cooney, first of all. Um, when we talk about the Niners. Um, slightly sprained shoulder. Dude, don't use that as your fucking excuse when my Packers win at home. You guys are not going to win at Lambeau. In the cold. In the potential snow. With the best quarterback in the league going in. Throwing to the best wideout in the game. Throwing to one of the best tight ends in the game. Uh, with one of the best running backs in the game. With the best left tackle in the game, David Bakhtiari. Yeah, I said it. I really don't see where San Fran's getting the win from. I, I could see where you guys would beat Dallas. Because Dallas sucks. They, they're... Pretenders in the dictionary with the Dallas Cowboys logo right next to it. Um, definitely not Super Bowl contenders. Uh, former Florida State quarterback Chubba Purdy transfers to Nebraska. I um, wonder if he's related to Brock Purdy. Probably should have researched that before we jumped on. Uh, anyway, let's talk about Western Mass Sports. Uh, boys hockey, Ludlow beats Southwick 5-2. to two. Uh, Pope Francis destroys Reading Mass 7-1. to one, And Amherst beats Chicopee. Uh, cup, 4-2. to two. 
Remember the one sport that I said she could be cut was the greatest in, which was hockey. Eight and one, they finally lost the game. I know, honestly, probably a lot of squads didn't want to play them. Like the only team up there that could probably fucking destroy them is honestly Pope Francis. And Pope Francis produces professional level hockey players at the high school level, so they might have got lucky. Um, that's it for boys hockey. Uh, let's go to basketball. Um, Amherst over Holyoke, 60-45. to 45. Amherst improves to 6-2 and two on the season. Holyoke drops his first loss of the year. Uh, Granby beats East Hampton, 51-43. to 43. East Hampton Eagles are 0-6. Uh, Smith Academy wins one over Greenfield, 52-48. to 48. Hoosick Valley destroys Mount Greylock, 67-42. to 42. Mount Greylock still has a winning record. They're 6-3. Mount, Mount Vraylock might be better than a certain team who plays in the South End Community Center. I'm just saying, that might be a little challenge. I don't know. Uh, a little, little fuel for them Bay State Bulls next time they see Mount Vraylock. Um, Hamden Charter School of Science East, they have a winning record. Go Wolves. They're 4-2. and two. They beat Ware 44-40. Um, Longmeadow finally starts to act like the top basketball program it is, and they smoke Chicopee seventy to fifty five. Longmeadow's only three and five. Uh, Chicopee falls to one and three. And then finally, the Frontier Redhawks beat Southwick Rams seventy to thirty one. Southwick Rams fall to five hundred at two and two. Frontier Redhawks y'all six and three. Yay yay. Um. Now, we are talking about the girls' side. Um, in hockey, Mansfield beats Long Meadow 3-2. And in basketball, Springfield International Charter School takes care of the Ludlow Lions, 51-35. Those are your scores for Western Mass Sports. So now let's talk about uh, NBA, NHL, and college basketball on the men's side. Um, Celtics beat the Pelicans 104-92. Uh, Charlotte over the Knicks by 10, 97-87. Um, Washington beats Philly 117-98. Surprising. Um, Cleveland over the Brooklyn Nets 114-107. to Did you see that coming? Because I fucking didn't. Neither did my parlay. <laughs> uh, Memphis over Chicago 119-106. Clippers beat the Pacers 139-133. Who doesn't beat the Pacers? In the NBA this year, there's a team that I really don't understand. They score a lot of points. They don't play any defense. Great shooters. Um, they've got foreign shooters like the Sacramento Kings did back in the day. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't take that. To that. that wasn't a punchline from Tony Ayo. It just happened to be the same thing. Um, shouts to Ayo um, on that. But, yeah, Indiana, y'all suck. Come on, man. Uh, Hawks beat the Bucks 121-114. So much for Milwaukee handling the NBA's best. <laughs> Portland over Oregon or over Orlando, ninety-eight to eighty-eight. Staying in state there. Uh, the Heat beat the Raptors, one hundred four ninety-nine. Dallas over OKC, one hundred four one hundred two. And the Phoenix Suns smokes in in one twenty-one to one hundred seven. Devin Booker goes for thirty-five assists and six boards. College basketball to finish out the show. We've got the number four uh, Purdue Boilermakers in two overtimes. They beat number 17 ranked Illinois, 96 to 88. And that happens to be episode 246 of 4 and 3 Sports Talk. My name is Rahim Askalai. Uh, 44 subscribers on YouTube. Let's try to build those up, get that number um, up there. Um, Facebook, too, we're trying to grow the show, trying to get those followers up there, trying to engage with more people about their teams, about different sports. So if you're hearing this, engage. Uh, love you all. Wish you nothing but health, wealth, and success. Make sure you're with me tomorrow um, for 247. And um, make sure if you're near the fire, give it some space. Ah, ah! Fucking burn myself. It's like, have a good day, y'all.